I'm 35. I had a right frontal lobe. And... So when Tiffany first came to us, she was unable to communicate verbally, so we suggested using an iPad for communication. What the iPad um, does is that we can download some different applications which allow her to press buttons either on a keyboard. Uh, we started with pictures and then we moved up to a keyboard where she can generate her own message, is able to communicate with people. Hello, my name is Tiffany Beamer. I used this iPad to communicate before I could talk for a couple of months. It was frustrating to communicate verbally. I no longer need this iPad because I have a speaking valve. So an iPad is relatively inexpensive and we downloaded an application which allowed her to point to a picture or type her message and then it would provide that audio feedback so she can communicate with others. But now Tiffany's using a speaking valve so she doesn't need it but I think that we agree that it would be helpful for other patients that are in a similar position as her. Yes. I was very blessed for the opportunity to use the iPad because my family couldn't afford to get it for me. The Foundation's been kind enough to purchase augmentative communication devices called the NovaChat. Portable, lightweight, um, easy to carry, um, as well as to use device. Hi, I am Walter, lost my voice box. Um, as you can see, Walter was typing in a message using the keyboard. Um, this as well can have messages programmed into it prior where he would just need to hit a button for that message to be conveyed. So instead of always having to type out, I want a drink, he can actually have a button that, that has that already on there and it makes it quicker for him to ask. I'd like soda. And as Walter explained, it also allows him, it, it does make connection to the internet where he can email his family um, which makes it for clearer communication than maybe using this via the telephone. My name is Debbie, and I've been working with Amy for a long time trying to improve my swallow to make it stronger. And I've improved it a lot. Okay, so this is Synchrony for dysphagia. It provides biofeedback for dysphagia treatment. Okay, so when Deb swallows, we can see on here, it gives very good information on what the swallow looks like. They consider it seeing the swallow without actually looking in your throat. So as Deb improved on her swallow function, according to this, we saw at mealtime you were better tolerating harder foods. Prior to using this equipment, we would usually do just traditional swallow exercises, but at that point we couldn't really tell how hard somebody was swallowing. So now that we have this equipment, we can actually see the muscle activity. We've had this equipment three to four months, but our usage is pretty good. We've been using it with a lot of patients multiple times a day. We've had patients that have gone from nothing to eat to having diets, or patients that have been on pureed diets that go to at least mechanical soft. I am a big fan. Thank you for letting me eat again. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Olean, New York. I was involved in a T-bone accident with a semi and broke my pelvis and both my legs. I came to Monroe because I heard it has good therapy and I have most of my family here. I like using SafeGate because I feel comfortable that I'm not going to fall. Going up the stairs felt more natural. 
Um, it takes some of your body weight off, so I have less pain. It's easier to step down on your feet. On the safe gate, I feel like I'm a few pounds lighter. I feel pretty independent. 